Hey, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to Scorpio Intuition. If this is your first time on my channel, like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if anything resonates. If it's not your first time, welcome back, family. So without further ado, let's get into this uh, energy starting this beautiful week. <laughs> All right, spirit, messages of love and life for my beautiful, powerful Scorpios. What is the message for during this week, the week that you're currently in? Messages of love and life, spirit. Okay, Scorpios, you know, we, we are really showing up. <laughs> The first card is the death card. This is our card. The Spirit said at the beginning of this week, you are ending. The start of this week, you have ended something that I feel that has been a long time coming. And we know change going to come. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Spirit says there's something that has ended that has been a long time coming. And Spirit says because it has ended going into this week that you are going to have a renewed, like a rebirth of some type of experience. It's like if you ended a situation that the experience let, left you in doubt, confusion, chaos, or just uncertainty, Spirit says because you let that go, walking into this week, uh, coming into this week, Spirit says, everything you desire is yours. Spirit is saying that now your new is here. Your rebirth is here. Uh, and because this is a 13, it's a full, which is first of all, a massive number. And then for it to equal four, this is, this is a week of stability. So there's something that's going to come in this week that is going to enable you to be more stable than you were the week before. Ooh, I'm going to take them all. Spirit say take them all. All right, so the next quick thing that comes in is the Empress card. So right now, because you've ended something that, that you're no longer paying attention to that was um, that needed a drastic change, that needed to be conformed from one thing to the next, you are in this Empress stage. You're in this stage of everything you're desiring is coming to you because you're no longer are focusing on the past. You're no longer focusing on the things that... Um, on the negative experiences that actually got you to this point. I feel like a lot of you Scorpios, you are really realizing that I needed that lesson in the past for me to walk into my blessing. I needed that, that that uncertainty with that individual, that person, so that I could walk into who I am. A lot of things y'all went through, Scorpio, a lot of things we have went through as a collective was built for us so we can get to this point. Because think about it, that that situation that we went with, that we were in in the past that we had to recently let go, if that had not happened to us, would you have loved yourself enough? Would you have known how to set up healthy boundaries, protect to something that you felt you could not get rid of or something that you felt that you did not want to let go of. See, Spirit is trying to tell us, show us how strong we are, how powerful we are. And now because we have operated and been functioning in that power, now we are the empress. Now we are, everything we touch is being fruitful. For a lot of you guys, Spirit is saying, uh, that situation that ended for some of y'all who are trying to get pregnant, Spirit says you are about to uh, conceive. Spirit says that that business that you've been waiting for it to really skyrocket, it is about to come. Spirit says there's something new. There's something new that is hidden from you. For a lot of, or there's something new that that, that Spirit has have, has shown you in your spirit, but people around you don't see it coming, which is a blessing. And also with this, we have the page of um, the, we have the page of source. Spirit said, there's somebody, uh, there's a message that's coming in towards you collective at this time. It's, it's a message of somebody really wanting to tiptoe in and give you some type of, um, some type of clarification about wanting to move forward in the future. Right now, this person is watching you. This person is studying you, trying to make sure that everything that they are coming in, bringing in, is going to be worthy of, you know. So it, so it's like this person is making sure that when they come to you, they are coming to you in the right mindset. They are coming to you with the right attitude because this person understands that something has ended. And, and, and because something has ended, this person is being very, very careful uh, it's like they're tiptoeing around, they're tiptoeing to get to you so that it's like I want to sneak up on you because I feel like if I come and I let it be known, you're going to reject me. Then we have the wheel. So the wheel is ending things. Seeing that the wheel is under the death card, you have officially ended a cycle in your life that 
that has I feel that has put you through um that has put you through a trial that at points and at times in that trial, you didn't feel like you were going to make it. And Spirit says, because you did the work, because you stayed true to yourself, this new beginning is you. You're starting to feel free. You're starting to feel balanced. Your coins are on, are on point. And it's like right now, if they not on your level, they not going to be able to see you. You got people trying to, that you end a situation, which, which is all the way up under the clouds. You above the clouds. You are rising up to your fullness potential. The next card we have is the four of wands. The four of wands is, ooh, ooh, ooh. the four of wands is up under the inference. So right now, Spirit is saying, especially if this was dealing in a, in, in a, a situation to where you wanted a happy home, you wanted something to be stable, you wanted to have celebrations within that home. Uh, Spirit is saying, because you, because you completed a cycle and you did not stay in a situation that was not benefiting you, Spirit is saying, now, you're about to walk into that 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 beautiful partnership. You're about to walk into that family life you've always desired. You are about to walk into your new new family. Do you hear me? You are walking into your new 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 everything. I mean everything. Spirit said for a lot of you guys, y'all are you are having your baby. You are moving into a new house. You are having your your, your the 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 most caring, understanding, uh, a strong minded spouse that you desire. Because you know, Scorpio, we need somebody that's going to be mentally, spiritually, and physically strong for us. Because you know, we just be, mm, we so powerful. You know, we need that. And Spirit says, I'm going to bring you somebody that's going to compliment you. I'm going to bring you somebody that's going to reflect you. That's going to be your reflection. You hear me? Somebody that you ain't got to worry about. They loyalty going to match your loyalty. Spirit says, I'm about to do it big for you, family. Just wait and see. Just watch and see. Spirit, Scorpio, every Scorpio that's watching this, Spirit says, I'm about to do it big for you. Why? Because you the main fucking event. The last card we have is the moon card. So with the moon card coming out with the page of swords, this is somebody that wants to come give you some information. This is somebody... This is somebody that you release yourself from. You see how they have the the dark, the black dog and the white dog. You got the 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 black dark energy and the white energy. Spirit saying right now, somebody somebody that you freed yourself from is coming towards you with some type of uh, communication because they want to be in your present. They want to be in your right now. But this person is hesitant. This person is watching you, and it's like this person wants to tell you some secrets or something because they were divinely guided to. They were supposed to then told you something about something but it's like this person was hiding their feelings they were hiding their dark side their their uh lower vibrational characteristics and um right now this person is willing to come back in and reveal these things to you but i feel like it's too late you know, it's like an energy of like th this person feels like they're drowning since you've released them. This is an energy that they never wanted to feel. They this person had you in, had you in a discombobulated state at one point in time. And now since you have solely let this go, because they always thought you will come back. They always thought that they could treat you any type of way and you will accept it. But now since you have transformed into this empress energy where you're not chasing shit. Now, now this person wants to come in and they want this home dynamic with you. But I feel like you have already, for a lot of you guys, you've already started uh, a new life with someone else or somebody else is about to present their self right now immediately spirit what is the moon card yeah this person wants to this person feels like they're receiving their karma this person has a lot of love for you they they want to come and tell you that they want the queen of cups back they want <laughs> This person wants your love and energy back because when you when you finally cut it off, all of that was cut off. And this person feels like they're receiving their karma for the lack of of for the lack of everything that they've done towards you. And with this page, there's another, I've seen a page, of, another page of swords. This person is heavily watching you. This person may come in feeling some type of way because you are rejecting them. And this person doesn't like to be rejected. When it comes to the death card, this person wants to start anew with you. 
This person is about to offer you something. I do say if you do take the time to talk to them, be mindful because they will try to come and impregnate you. But with that, this person still has third party situations that they are dealing with. I feel like they're with someone right now and it's like now they want to make you the third party. This person... It's something with them about having more than one person. It's like maybe when they was a child, their parents didn't get them no attention or they always had to fight for attention. So because of that, they are now always putting themselves in positions where somebody will have to fight for them and give them attention because they are insecure in who they truly are, but they're afraid to walk in who they truly are because when it comes to you, Scorpio, you can see through them. And this is something that they fear, but something that they want to embrace because it's something that they've never felt before. But this need of attention, it's like yep, yeah, this person in the past that you let go was a semi-attention whore. And or it could have been, you know, not semi, but full-fledged blown. And I feel like at this time, they're they want to come back in but they're still dealing with other people. And Spirit says with the will, dang, we got the will twice, family. So we got the page of swords twice and we got the will twice. Spirit says you have a whole new beginning, Scorpio. So this week, expect great things. This week, expect financial breakthroughs. Expect financial miracles, okay? Because this is like oh, a whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. And this person is wanting to be a part of this new beginning, but I feel like it's too late to apologize. It's too late, too late, too late, too late. <laughs> All right, Scorpios, I love y'all. I love y'all self. If any of this resonate, like and subscribe if you want a personal reading. All that information is in the description below. Love yourself. We are the gods. There's nothing they can do about it, honey. <laughs>